I got a lot of pro wrestling books, but I haven't read enough of them. One book I don't have, but I do recommend it, is, uh, you know, that guy. Luthez, Hooker. That's supposed to be a really good book, but it was so limited that now the only way you can get it is to go on eBay and spend an ungodly amount of money for it, and so I'll never read it. But I'm told it's pretty good. Uh, probably the standard, I don't know if you can see, but there's a copy of Have a Nice Day right there. That's the one that someone was kind enough to have Mick Foley autograph for me. I think that's the best one. His second one is okay. Foley is good. His third one, how many has he got? I haven't read the other ones after that. Sorry, Mick. Mick and I share a birthday. June 7, coming up. Chris Jericho's books are probably pretty good, but I haven't read them. Uh, supposedly some copies are coming my way via a friend who hasn't mailed them. You know who you are. Gary Michael Capetta's book. If you can get that one, really worth the money. And he, he almost personalized every copy, I think. So if you if you order one from Gary Michael Capetta, you will get a signature, an autograph, whether you want one or not. I haven't read Goldberg's book, but I have it. Um, I used to go to closeouts, and I would just get every WWF book that they had. So I have a lot of them, but I haven't read them, so I can't recommend them. I hear the Hardys one is quite delusional. I'm running out of time. So I would say start with Foley's book and Gary Michael Capetta's if you're any fan of history. And we can work from there.